Come on. Come on. Any minute. Oh, there we go. Loading. Yeah, this time I started the recording before uh, the game was fully up. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't take too long to boot up. See, it's only one thing away. Boom. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna start off with, uh, continue game. So we are right here, uh, the door, locked, window, rain? Oh, lightning, a storm, okay, so you had another bad dream? Yeah, not a very pleasant one, there was a storm, a thunderstorm. The rain was burning like it was acid, and lightning was striking all around. I see, we'll have to prepare for it then. What is it, Cody? You seem excited. I have to tell you some. I have something important to tell you. It's like super duper important. We have to prepare for even more tonight. Yes, Cody, I know. But you don't know why yet. I don't, I thought... Shush, I had a dream. There were like dozens of zombies coming towards the house. That one in my brain, we have to protect it, I don't want to be eaten. They had those ugly faces and they were slowly walking with their arms in front of them. They were speaking to me all like, BRAINS! Cody, zombies aren't real. You had a bad dream, that's all. <laughs> what? No, why? Your dreams are way better than mine. I'm not saying they're better. So you believe that there are zombies coming after me? No one is chasing you, Cody. I hope uh, zombies will think you're tasty. <laughs> David, there's something I need to tell you. I also had a dream. You saw what I saw? No, I saw a city. I know where to find the spaceship, David. Or at least I know how to look for it. What? Where? Side reel. The corporation that built those ships had a number of outposts and offices across the everywhere. In my dream, I saw one of them in the deserted city in the southwest. It was just an office, but if we get there, we might find the location of the spaceship outpost. So you don't know for certain. David, have I died your dreams for one second? I need you to trust me on this one. We've got to get there as soon as possible, before we spend any time preparing for what's coming tonight. First, Barry. Hey. Because I talked to the others about stuff when I met them, so let's see, the moon. The moon getting bigger? Yes, I reckon our days are numbered. They are indeed, but I'm not giving up that easy. Good for you spaceship. So there's a plan to find a spaceship and escape. A spaceship? Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but the look around. The wor whole world is crazy. It's Kate's plan, isn't it? Yes. What do you think about it? I'm not sure. It's a long shot, but there's no other hope. We've got nothing to lose, right? Is something wrong with Cody? You're always looking at him. I think I envy him. He lost, like, everything without family, without friends, without anyone he knows, with a group of strangers. Who knows how long he was alone before he found him. And yet look at him, smiling, happy and eager to play, even with the world dying around him. I wish I could be like that. Actually, me too. Any new thoughts on Kate? I don't know, David. This side real plexus thing. She claims she didn't know where it was, but then she knows? Plus she knows just so much about them. Not to mention this whole spaceship idea. Isn't this ridiculous? Our car uses so much fuel, I don't think it's normal. There might be a number of reasons for that. Problem fuel injectors to incorrect tire pressure. There might also be something wrong with the engine. Do you think you could take a look? Sure, why don't you drive us to my house? I have some tools in my garage. That's all for now. Hey there. About Barry. Did you change your opinion about Barry? Dunno, he is still sad. It's not that easy to let it go after such a loss. I know, I'm trying to cheer him up. I think I saw him smiling today. People should smile more often. Everything is better then. When you put it that way, it doesn't sound too complicated. Of course it doesn't. You make it complicated. All adults do. <laughs> Later. Okay, so let's get in the car. 
So we unlocked that now. Let's go to the bridge. Okay, what is the proper tools? Because I gotta make the bridge to get the car over. Is it a crowbar? No. Okay. What do I use? What do I use to make the bridge? Wait, maybe it's in the broken bridge. Not in the broken bridge, uh... Yeah, I go across. I'm going to the restaurant, boys. In we go! Into the back. Wait, no, not the back. Into this way! Now the gas has dissipated. Oil! Rat poison. Nope, there's no uh, tools in here. Wait, no, that's just a moth. Okay, stuff about a weekly conspiracy. I, I don't want to read that whole thing. You can watch Markiplier's playthrough if you want a full read through of everything. Man, I can't remember how the frick I'm supposed to get the car over the bridge. What tool am I supposed to use? Uh-oh, we're stuck in a loading screen. There we go. Okay, let's just go back to the car. Cross. Drive home. Let's see, there has to be something around here, somewhere to use. Oh, I locked it on my way out, right? So this is the place you stayed at? Yes. It's big, looks solid. Despite Kate's attempt, best attempts, it still stands. And I think it can provide us with the protection we need. At least until we figure out what we need to do next. I knew the people who lived here. I'll tell you about them if you want. We have to secure our hideout for the incoming storm. Too bad the plastic wrap wasn't salvageable. You know what, I'm just gonna try something. Okay, take that off. Oh, so the blanket does work. Uh, there's not another blanket. I bet I have something in my chest. Yeah, I'll just put a towel over it. Duh. Oh, 
Oh dang. That thunder sound is actually really real. Like, the audio in this game is just amazing. Nice view. Yeah, I don't care. I just want to run over to it. Okay, so I can't use the towel. Dang it. Uh, do I put the jacket over it? Too small, I need something bigger. Oh, there's a thermal blanket right there. Luckily, I think the flag will just work for this one, too. There we go. Okay, so windows covered, and uh, what else can we do to keep us warm through a storm, I guess? Okay, I guess we can all just wear the jackets and... Yeah. Warm jackets. Oh! Duh. Let's go over here. Kindling basket. Uh, wait, I didn't take the charcoal out. Dang it, I mean to click that. Fireplace or kindling basket. Before I start setting up fuel supplies for the night, I should place something in the fireplace to fuel the actual fire. Yeah, I guess I have to go find wood. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! It's the broken hammer. That's how I build the fence. Uh, the 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 thing. Oh, dang! New hand. Oh, I get it now. Oh, uh, might as well drive. Let's see, where'd I leave the wooden handle? Well, let's go to the bridge first. The wooden handle was there, but then... Oh, I think I left it in the gas station. Oh, the money could go in the kindling basket. There it is. Okay, now we have a hammer. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Back here. Cross the ravine. Hammer on the wood. Nails, really, boy? Nails. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Well, until I see where nails are, we're just gonna go ahead and go to the side real plexus office. The city didn't survive even uh, the first weeks after the apocalypse. Hit by earthquakes, it was quickly abandoned, only to be swallowed by sands after the climate changed. I never liked the idea of going there. It was like a massive tombstone emerging from the wasteland, luring travelers so it could become a grave for more victims. Yet this was the place we had to go to. Is the place any questions? This is this isn't the outpost you were looking for, right? 
Have you been listening to it, uh, listening to me at all? Of course, this isn't the uh, post I was looking for. The that one had a launch pad in the spaceship. This one, this is an office. What exactly are we looking for? Coordinates. We need to know where the launch pad is. Look for any documents you can find, or maybe maps. Where are your connections with the sidereal plexus? I don't know what you mean. Well, I didn't know about the spaceship in the first place. Can we have this conversation another time? It's a long story. No more questions. Let's move. Nothing to interact with here, so let's just go in. Okay. An entrance or a big sand dune. Wait a second. Shouldn't there be a door here? There is. It's probably a few feet under all that sand. We could bring a shovel in. Are you serious? Taking a desert's worth of sand would take us hours. No time for that. Let's look for another way in. This world doesn't have a few months. Five minutes. Let's go. Oh, I see. I was like, could they're just standing there? Opening in the wall, let's go! Watch out! Oh no! Help! I'm gonna help Cody up. You might not have enough time to save both friends. Oh, uh, let's have, let's read our book. Oh. Okay, uh... We're gonna save Cody because Barry's older. No! Barry! Can you hear me? David, we're on a roof, and this hole seems to go all the way down. It's at least a four-story drop, if not more. He couldn't survive that. Maybe he did. Maybe he landed on sand. How can you know? Barry! David. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not going with you, though, it seems. It's all right. You're safe. Calm down. Where's Barry? I'm sorry, I couldn't grab both of you. No! Why didn't you save Barry? He wanted me to say. I think he'd want me to save you, Cody. So is it my fault? No! 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 He just he cared about you more than he cared about himself. Calm down. We have to move. David, I know this is terrible, but we can't let him die for nothing. Get to the opening. I'll try to find another way in. Find the location of that base. Look for documents or a map of some sort. We'll just meet up later. Good luck. Okay. Let's look at... Wait a second. Chart. Uh, representing something. Okay, not anything useful. Computer doesn't seem to work. But it's not broken, so I bet we just have to power it. Completely collapsed, not much I can do about it. Case of emergency breaks glass. I think I've done enough breaking glass for now. I doubt the elevator is gonna work. The elevator is stuck mid floor. I don't think getting it time would be a good idea. So dark in here. Don't be scared, Cody. I'm not. What was that? I am scared. I don't want to be here. Hey, it's okay. I'm here. We got what we came for, then we'll just leave. Okay. Locked. <laughs> not for long. Very sturdy. Okay, so I can't use that. Oh, I don't like that darkness. Dead body. He has an ID on his neck. PC, it's not powered, or it's broken, or both. A fax machine. Uh, evacuate our designated launch pad. Please find an email titled Escape and open the attachment. So, yeah. 
Please ask for seats in the coach marked with the letter C. Departure at 9. She is the only bus that goes to the launch pad. Uh, sharing any information is forbidden. I'm not reading all of that. I, I'm not a big reader. <laughs> The thunder actually sounds really spooky. A gun silencer, what's it doing here? Maybe it's the reason there's a dead guy at the desk. Assassins, do you think they're still here? So now I can put that, that silencer on my uh, gun. Let's go down! I should find the outpost location before going any further. Hey there. Then me to click on you. So let's see if it's not the cr let's pick the lock. Let's break it. Let's dig it. Uh let's use a wrench. Okay, so I can't ask him for help, yeah? Elevator is just like our future, dark and hollow. Dang. Well, how do we open the door? that we have to do something about uh okay what do you think of this office i don't like being here can we go already this place is wrong it's evil can you feel it okay so i can't ask him for help with this and none of my tools seem to work on the other side. A key, I'll take it. Oh, okay. Unlocked it. Nice. Let's go. Backup battery. Oh, pin A, pin B. Okay, so I gotta get 10 to B and 50 to A. Okay, so let's see. Oh, oh, I see, I see it, I see it, I see it. Man, that one's melted out. What is it? Okay, wait a second. So that stays at 60. 50. Sixty five, okay, so that's plus five. Okay, let's go back. Let's go up here. Uh so minus 30, so now it's at 30. 45, 50. Boop. Okay. 55. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I can do this, I can do this. Oh wait, I get it. Fifty-five. Okay, let's just see what this is. So that's sixty, fifty. That's like plus twenty, huh? Wait a second. Dang. Still 15 over. 30. Okay, 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 okay. What if I do this instead? Oh, dang! 50, got it. Okay, so now I just gotta get the 10 over there. 
much easier. Ten. Zero, I'm guessing. Fifteen. Okay, so that's still there, but that's gonna go like that. Oh, dang, got it. Okay, let's exit. Oh, no, that, that, that's, just, that's just a battery. I thought there was a paper. Working. Ah, oh, there's no internet. Email. Uh. Oh. Okay, escape. That's it. This is the location we needed. Mark it on my map. Now we can get out of here. I'm not gonna read through all of this. I know that's like the lore and stuff, but. I just don't like doing a ton of reading, so... I know Markiplier went through all of that. Though, I keep mentioning Markiplier's thing, don't worry, it's no spoilers for this, because anyways, I got mostly different uh, things from him, and also I don't remember, uh... really most of the answers to puzzles. Um, what happened? Nothing. David, do you think... do you think Barry's is alive? I don't know. I hope he's okay. Me too. Elevator. No peeps? Okay, let's go in here. Okay, so that won't work. Let's go down. Fire was locked in a glass cabinet. Okay. Now it's a fire hose that we... Oh, it's a... I got it. Elevator. Anything in there? I think I see the bottom, but it's too high to jump. Darkness. It's too dark to see anything. I don't have a flashlight. Do I have to change the settings on this thing? make the power be down there. I swear that's a paper right there. I don't exactly remember what to do. Let's see. Okay, so fire hose doesn't... Oh, wait! I get it. I get it. Now we can climb down. Five minutes. Yeah, I don't care. Collapsed doorways. Lab 14. There are 13 more labs. Okay, let's go! Lab 13. Unlike the neighbor lab, this one is undamaged. Locked. Ha, huh, luckily, I have a key. Oh, so the key was one use? Really? Okay, let's just use the ID badge. Okay, let's just use my house keys. That wouldn't work. Okay, so apparently the key I used on the upstairs door was one time. Let's just use a crowbar. Shut tight, nowhere to fit the crowbar. Dang. Oh no. <coughs> uh, Barry, you're alive! Looks like, looks like my expectations about this place have suddenly dropped. You're terrible. I also feel terrible. What should we do? You got the location of the base? Yes. Good. Get out of here. Can't leave you like that. I'm good as done, David. Take the kid and go. I'm sorry. Sorry I let you fall. It's alright. You've made the right choice. Maggie knew you would make the right choice. Huh? My wife. She knew. In her note, she wrote. That she knows you'll make the right choice when the time comes. The note was for me, but that section, that line, that was for you. I know it. I see it. Barry, get up, please. 
In a sec, okay, kid. Uncle Barry's gotta rest his bones a bit. Go, David. Take good care of him and Kate. I don't know where you're going, but I'll meet you in another life. Goodbye, Barry. Poor Barry. And we don't have time. Nothing useful. Logo. What exactly are, were you doing, Cyrus? What was your game? Wait, no, 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 no. Do not other side of this door. I better find the exit. Collapse labs. I've unlocked it. Oh. Okay, David, you got the location? You really don't care about Barry, do you? Don't you want to ask about them first? I just assumed he's dead. He died for this information, Kate. He died. Like I said, that's what I assumed. Okay, assume I've got your stupid map then. Show me it. Should be show it to me, whatever. Take a look. The launch pad is here in the mountains. We can go right away. What about your dream? The storm, acid rain, thunder? What about them? If we get to the launch pad, they won't be our problem. I don't know, David. You had that dream. It might mean we won't to escape them just like that. The wind blows from the east. The storm comes from that direction. If we go there today, it might catch us in the open before we find the ship, and we can't launch during a storm for sure. We have to wait for the storm to pass in our base. We have to stay one more night. How about we stay here, then? The storm will get us uh, here, too. You've seen the weather anomalies before, David. I'd rather be in our reinforced base than in this death trap flooded with sand and acid rain water. Everything is collapsed. Okay, back to the front. Okay, well, let's just leave, I guess. So we have that there. We're gonna go back to the bridge. Cross. Get in the car. Right to the house. Okay, so this time I'm gonna airtight the doors. Since I didn't do that the first time with the gas, but this time I'll do it because I know the water will leak through if I don't. Well, I'm guessing. I don't know if the game will do that, but in real life that's what would happen. Okay, oil away. Oh wait, I didn't get any wood. Okay, silencer to the gun. Uh, 60 minute. Yeah, I don't care enough about that. Fax document. Gun. ID card. Ooh, use the gas to light it. Yeah. Let's see. Give a jacket to both of them. And then a bathroom towel I'll put on the doors. But first, yeah, I can carry the gas to the gas station. Around we go. Get in. Back to the bridge. We can't go over the bridge because I don't freaking have it. Okay, eight minutes. Road west. Up here. Fresh tracks on the ground that weren't there before. They seem to lead to the restaurant. Okay, but before we go to the restaurant, I want to go over here. Fill up my freaking gas! I let's go. Guess we're going here then. Hold it! What? Who are you? Hands in the air now! Relax, guys. We're just hands in the air now. 
All right, there, okay. Kate, would you? Please don't shoot us, we're innocent. It's okay, Cody, they're not gonna shoot us. Who are you? My name is David and this is Kate and all right, save it. You can explain everything to the Sarge. All right, let's keep it civilized. I'm very much in favor of that. Let's start with this, what are you doing? Who are you and what are you doing here? Yeah, I know it's episode two and I only just now decided to start doing voices, but whatever. We're a family, none of your business, just travelers. They're more likely to buy the family thing. But let's, uh... Yeah, we're just looking for supplies. My name is David, this is my wife, Kate. David? Relax, dear, I got this. Sure, dear. Um, so as I was saying, that's us. That's our son, Cody. Um, yes, hello? And you're just looking for supplies? Yes, can I ask you the same question? Sergeant First Class Franklin Mick Willis. And this is my squad. Josh, Mark, Steve, and Paul. So, you're with the army? We are the army. All that's left of it. It would disappear. It would appear. There is no more government, no more HQ. We're on our own. You're still wearing uniforms, though. That's what keeps us together, son. What are you going to do with us now? Nothing. Add these guys back to your posts. Alright, sorry about that. You know, you, you never know these days. It's good to meet a friendly face for once. We have a spaceship. Yeah, what do you need that for? To escape. To escape? You're on your mind. Where would you escape? Well, there's a space station, supposedly. Son, I understand you want to survive at all costs, but this is being delusional. The entire world is dead. This isn't something you can just escape from. You can't. There's nowhere to go. There's no magical kingdom, no wonderful utopia waiting for survivors. No space station will save you. Don't let anyone fool you like that. The moon is falling on our heads. Yeah, well, I didn't notice. Maybe I was too busy trying to look after myself and my squad because the dang moon exploded and is falling on us. What I meant was it is going to crash into the earth like really soon. Good. It's all gonna end. It has to, this whole nightmare. Let me tell you a story, okay? Sure. Our squad was helping with evacuation. We were on a chopper hovering above the football stadium where people had gathered. We were picking them up. We were picking up wounded to get them to safety. Suddenly, bam! Another earthquake started and everything went to hell. Literally, the ground split open, bursting out red flames. Do you know the Bible? I'm not an expert. I wasn't re a religious man either, but after seeing all this, after seeing a whole stadium of people being swallowed by hell itself in one chomp, it was then that I realized there is no hope. Nothing is going to end well. This is the Judgment Day, the final chapter of mankind. No any interesting places? Uh, we're looking for things to pour the fire hideout. There's a construction site south of here. My boys saw it when they scouted the area, but we're not sure what's there. Maybe we'll find something useful there. Here, let me mark it on your map. What's your plan, Sarge? We ed we're headed west. This is the final stop before we attempt to take on the desert that lies beyond this place. I guess you're traveling the same direction. You could join us if you want. We're going east. Actually, we're going east. East? That's a terrible idea. Why? We just came from there, escaping a dreadful storm. It's hell. I'm telling you, thunderstorms like you've never seen. It, the rain is acidic. It burns skin. Trust me, you do not want to go east. Not today, at least. Do you know any ideas how we can survive the storm? Dang it, son. Why are you so stubborn? If you have to stay, dig some ditches around your hideout to lead the water away. Also, maybe talk to Paul. He's our technician, and I know he has some scientific instruments that might help you. But don't expect our help for nothing in return. We have our own needs. Don't you want to come with us? David, a word, please? What is it, Kate? We can't just offer a ride to everyone we meet. Cody, I get it. He's with us. But we can't take more hitchhikers. We don't know the condition of the ship, the uh, weight limit. It's okay, hmm? I wouldn't want to go anyway. But the world is doomed. I've come to terms with that. And your men? They have the right to decide for themselves, right? Right. But we're a team. A squad that keeps together no matter what. Why don't you ask them yourself? Right now I'm asking you. Okay, so here's my answer. Good luck with your plan. I mean it. But we're staying. Wounded person. Who, Steve? We were attacked, a small group of bandits, nothing we couldn't handle. But Steve was wounded and is not doing well. We don't have anything to treat him with. 
I was hoping there we'd find something out here, but no luck. What do you need exactly? Some bandages. And something to disinfect his wounds. So, you're letting us go? Yeah, you're not the bandits we mistook you for. Sorry if we scared you. We'll head off soon after sunset. Just ask if you need anything. Okay, so I'll go back and get those med supplies we found in the van. Right after I talk to these guys, after it finishes loading. Hi. Can't talk, I'm on guard duty. I'll make it quick. Okay, that's just that. I want to talk to the person who has the technicians. Stuff. This guy. Paul. David, eh? I'm Paul. I'm the team's main engineer. Engineer, huh? Nice to meet you. Is there anything you need? We want to survive the storm. Why don't you just come with us and avoid the whole thing? There's no time. Escaping the storm means we lose too much of tomorrow to travel back. If I were sure, if I were you, I'd make sure the house you're staying at has a lightning rod on the roof. And if it doesn't, I'd make one. Do you have anything that might help with the thunderstorm? Well, I have something. They're called storm geysers, experimental devices created by sidereal plexus. How do you know? Lucky guess. Anyway, this technology actually repels thunderstorms. Can we have them? Well, I'm not sure. Come on, you're not staying here for the storm, right? So you don't really need them. Yeah, but why should you have them? Because we want them? You know what? Prove me you actually deserve our help. David, don't we just calm down, Kate? We'll think of something. Bye. See ya. I'm guessing you have to help him before you uh, get the stuff. So let's head back to the car. Cross. Go back to the house. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. So... Okay, so not that. Oh wait, let me guess, I have to do it when we're outside, like further away. Cause he said something about dig a ditch. So real fast, we're gonna go over here, open the storage chest. So I'll do the towel stuff when I get back. I'll do all this stuff when I get back. Okay, so uh, we're gonna... I think oil can be disinfectant. And there's bandages. I don't know though, so don't quote me on that. But first things first. Shovel on the ground around the base. Uh, one hundred and five minutes. Whatever. We need it. Ditches. We dug some ditches around the base. Wait a second, do I have any metal that I could use as the lightning rod? Wait a second. Duh, the helicopter's a lightning rod. Wow, it's so awesome. I flew it, you know. She flew it in here. Helicopters are cool, can I get inside? Not the best idea, kid, but... Don't touch it, don't even come near it. But why? Because it might fall. I wouldn't want you to fall and hurt yourself. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, but I want to... Uh, I want some metal off of it to... Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's bring the stuff over. Wait a second, that's right, uh, car. Can't drive over until we get some nails. Restaurant. Okay, we're actually starting to run low on time, eh? Okay, so... Bandage to Steve. This bandage should help. Yeah, thanks. Kitchen oil. That wouldn't work. You again. Okay. Steve. 
Uh, what do you want? Or is this friendly? Only with bullet holes, man. How do you feel? How do you think I feel? Like a kitchen strainer. Is there anything we can do to help? If you had something to disinfect the wounds, that would be great. Well, what, what's good wound disinfectant? And maybe there's something at the construction site. Because that's where we're going, because I don't have anything else to do without going there. That'll help. Uh, weekly conspiracy, I don't feel like it. Aliens, no aliens, don't believe everything you read. It isn't? Let's move, David. Can't reach that. Way down the site. Spool of wire. Stuck under the large concrete. Big and heavy. I think we have to use the construction stuff. Can't reach that. Can't reach that. Front site. Ouch, it's rusty. I can't climb it. Well, is there another way around? Oh yeah, equipment parking space. Oh, that's sad. De more dead people. Man, there's literally nothing here. Guys, let's go out the construction site. Back in, I guess. Way down. Can't reach the hole in the wall. Why are you so mean to David? Huh? <laughs> Cause he's a dork. Is there nothing to use around here? There's nothing I could really put on my hands. Guess it's back to the road for us. Oh man. I don't know what I can do. It's not like we really have anything to use. Reverse the bridge, get across. We only have like an hour left. Drive the car. Drive the car. Over here. Like, is there gloves or something around here? I don't care, I don't, I don't care. Well, guess that's it for us then. I can't figure out what if there's anything else to do here. Wait a second. Let's go here, see if there's any, uh, any other new tracks like we saw there. Wait a second. That's right. There's the chemical emergency response. We can do something with that, I'm sure. Wait, no, 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 no. Well, back to the house, I guess. That was a waste of time. Okay.
I don't think adding more water will help. So let's just go back to the house and, you know what? If we can't win, we can't win. But just in case, I'll go ahead and uh, save real fast. Save game. Overwrite this. Okay. Go back. Back. Okay, whatever. Wait a second, what'd you say? Place some ashes, previously scared. I also think the chimney is clogged. I don't feel an air draft. The what? Need something like this as it can to start fire. Yeah, put it in. Wad of cash in. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. Put that in. Take this out. Bag of charcoal in. Empty bag. Okay, the bag can screw off now. Wedge the towels in the door. Blocking the gap. Now let's go to the back door. Towel on the door. No, 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 I wanted to know if it was locked, but, hey. Okay. Lock the gap. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so how do I get out on the roof to fix the clogged chimney? Oh, there's a ladder here. A hatch. No, go up the hatch. I don't think I have anything metal to use to put on here, so... Chimney. lightning rod if I had one. Let's just stick the shovel in. Crowbar. I want to try and get the stuff out. What do I stick in here to get stuff out? Wait. Close the hatch. Okay, there's gotta be some sort of pole around here somewhere that I can just use. Okay, I don't see it. Propane? Okay. Wait a second, idea, 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 idea. Whatever, okay. Set that down. No, not... Duh. Set down the frickin' propane. Kitchen door, pick that up. Okay, I have it locked, but that's not what I need this time. Open it, go in.
put the gas in there, since apparently the gas isn't what we use to light the fire. Okay. House. Generator's running. I could recycle some of the nails that... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's how you get the nails? Now I'm angry at myself for not figuring that out sooner. Switch it on, it's getting hot. The heat should help, yes? Okay, let's just stick this stuff away. Give jackets to my buddies. And I don't know where to put the tarp. Okay, here, take this coat. Oh. I guess they don't need coats? I figure the rain would be cold, but okay. Okay. Okay, let's go upstairs then. Oh, I get it. The folded sheet of tarp, we cover the helicopter hole. Okay. Twenty eight minutes. Covers most of the hole. Okay, let's go it down. Close the hatch. Okay, yeah. Don't think there's much else to do now, eh? Yep, guess we can end it. Okay, what do I carry with me to keep the... Guess I'll just have a jacket. Since I can't think of much else that would be useful. Okay. As the day ended, black clouds pushed by winds from the east covered the sky, casting dark shadows on the ground below. Loud thunder was sounding all around, preceded by a sudden and sharp flashes of light. With them, the first raindrops fell on the wastelands. It's not life-giving water the dry land had been thirsty for. It was saturated with burning acid, as if the earth decided to clean its surface of life before the moon did. You dug dishes around the base, driving away some of the water, a reduced threat by 15%. Secured the helicopter hold with a tarp. Stop 10%. Close the roof hatch. 10%. Didn't do anything to save the house from being struck by lightning. It was bound to happen. A loud rumble. Oh, large part of the roof was gone. Oh, well I didn't have any... I couldn't do the storm things because I didn't have anything else to help the guy. So, uh. You close the front door. Let's see. The doors. So those all stop stuff. Great. It was too much water for Cody. He didn't even notice it when the big wave washed him down the stairs. The kid drowned in the acid. Well, we're dead. Oh, it reverts us back. 
Okay, so... Okay, how much time do we have left? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Twenty-one minutes. I don't have enough time to go over there and get the storm catchers. Cause I don't have the bridge, and they can't build the bridge in time. Obviously. Is there metal I can get? Can I take apart you? Can I take you apart? Wait a second. Salvage the tractor, eh? There isn't even anything to salvage. There's metal! Come on, man. There's metal. We need something to use as a... Wait a second. Was there something on the ground right there? Broken planks. Okay. Okay, put it in the kindling box, I guess. Okay, so this time put something over the hatch. But what do I have? I can literally only do what I have in here. I can't go anywhere. I don't have enough freaking stuff. Uh, I don't have enough time. Block the gap. Can't put anything on the ceiling hatch. Oh yes it would, it's better than nothing. Yeah, that's a thermal blanket. Okay, come on, G give me something. Wait a second. I have an idea. Metal grates for a lightning? Use the iron grate. Wait, I didn't grab the iron grate. Okay, so... Uh... These metal grates better work for a uh, thing. Okay, go over here. What? Bad idea! Metal bars on the chimney is a great idea. It's a. Wait a second. Metal bars on the hatch, that would. Wait a second. Oh, come on, I should be able to pick up that hatch thing down there. Oh, brother. What am I supposed to do? I'm literally just screwed. I don't have anything around here that could help me, and I don't have enough time to go anywhere because I... It took me way too freaking long to figure out how to do this stuff, and like an idiot, I got all my saves over the same thing. So, wait a second. Okay, so let's see. Day 3, finish. Okay, let's go back to this save. Okay, now we should have a bit more time. 
Okay, 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 okay. 45 minutes, that means it'll take too long to get back. <sighs> okay. Let's try this. Do I have the nails with me? No. I'm freaking building that bridge. Oh, I didn't get the nails out yet. Okay, so the oil doesn't work for a disinfectant. Unless rat poison's a good disinfectant. Uh. Wait a second, wrong way. Hammer on the greenhouse. 17 minutes, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do I get nails? A tool for recycling nails. Yeah, that's what I just did. Remove some nails. Okay, there we go. Handful of nails. Handful of nails. Okay, now into the car. Into the car, into the car, into the car, into the car. Okay. Right down here. Hammer on the planks, I have nails. 60 minutes! Okay, we don't have enough time for that. Okay, we just gotta run, we just gotta run, we just gotta run. 10 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, come on, I gave your buddy some bandages. Okay. Well. I'm boned. I'm legit just boned. I can't do anything. Yup, still just dead. And I'm boned, I softlocked myself. There's literally no way I can get- Wait a second. Is a nail board what I could use for a thing? Do I use a nail board? So I have the wooden planks. Okay. Crowbar. This. That. Okay, nails. Nails. Plank. Go in. Close the door. Okay, put the towel in. Okay. Okay. Okay, so broken planks won't do anything on the chimney. Okay, so planks don't help with the hatch. Wait a second. Oh dang it, it took too long. Well, I literally just didn't have enough time to replace it because I was gonna see if, uh... 
window thing would work. Well, I am literally screwed, guys. This is game over. I can't beat it because I screwed myself over with not having enough time to go and uh, get the supplies I need, and I did stuff wrong. So, uh, this is gonna be all for today. Uh, next time we'll be restarting this game or playing Sonic Heroes. I don't know, whichever one I decide to record first. See you guys next time.